I didn't set out to be an old maid. But when I got into my late twenties, the hope all but left mother's eyes. I was, in her opinion, doomed to a bed of nails existence without a man. Ivory Walker has spent years caring for her aging parents. She's strong and feisty and independent. But when her parents die, she's left with a loneliness she never imagined. All I recall is skies and trees, a patch of garden, and lots of lonely space. I remember the days were dark and sad and full of shadows, with a sense of gloom pushing away any brightness. Something is raiding her garden. She never dreams it will be a hungry little boy who runs down out of the hills looking for food. She wonders who he is, who he belongs to, and why is he so quiet? Her questions unleash a firestorm in the community where most people would rather let secrets stay that way. The length that Ivory goes to for this boy is nothing short of courageous. Her capacity for love is breathtaking, and the journey she and the boy travel together is heartbreaking, yet it's full of joy and so much wonder. Nothing surprised or amazed me anymore. And that was part of my problem. Nothing took my breath away. But then, he came. 